To install the add-on switch kit, you obviously will need the original kit, because this is just the add-on with the switch. Uh, if you don't have the seated heats, uh, you should probably install the switch there, where the switch for the seated heats normally is. If you do uh, have the heated seats, you should install the switch next to the steering wheel. You start with removing the upper center console um, as shown here uh, and uh, it's basically the same as with the installation of the original kit. Then you uh, remove the power socket uh, connector and uh, you plug the additional kit, um, the black and red cables between the socket and the connector so that you will still have power through to your power outlet. Then remove or at least loosen the center lower console or the where you have the, your cup holders to access that area. Then uh, thread, thread the switch connector and, and the cable obviously uh, back through uh, the power connector area and down through so you can get it out from where the cup holders are. So you can add the switch there. It's, from there it should be fairly simple. Uh, if you're, you're not able to, to kind of like get your hands in there, you may want to remove uh, one of the other plastic covers as well as, as this one here. Remove the, um, the old blank cover for the switch. Um, that should be self-explanatory. And pop the new switch in and connect it with the green, I'm sorry, the, the, uh, yeah, the green connector. Then back uh, up on the center console again and connect your uh, old harness with the new one. And then it, it should be green, blue on br blue, green on, sorry, brown on brown and red on red. Uh, these have uh, different um, sizes to the other ones, so it shouldn't be possible to kind of like connect, the ro connect it wrongly. Pop it all together and you're off. Uh, I'll include some links in the description here for how to install the original kit and also how to uh, remove the center console and uh, um, the lower console. That sh hopefully should, uh, should be a bit helpful. If you do have any comments, please put them in below or you can contact me directly via email. Uh, my email is uh, included in your order when you have ordered the the harness. You also might want to have a look at the third video uh, where it's about how to connect the old kit to the new kit. Um, I do a little bit of explaining on what's going on and um, what the different cables are for and how you can kind of like get different type of modes on your car. I will uh, come back with a better video uh, on how to install it on the left side of the steering wheel but uh, it might take some time.